So I have a couple of videos titled The Witcher 3's Worst Quest, in which I talk about broken flowers and wine wars, which are two of the most annoying quests in the whole game. But if there are bad quests, there's gotta be great quests as well, and the quest that we're gonna talk about today is Carnal Sins. But in order to trigger that quest, firstly you need to do the quest Cabaret. And if you remember, that is the quest in which, well, you help Dandelion start his own Cabaret. And this quest is also great. I mean, not only do we get to see... The Crimson Avenger. Which is the best character in the game, but we also see Dandelion developing as a character. Plus, this also is the first time in like my 8th playthroughs I actually won the race for this dude and not paid him because I was broke as hell. The quest ends with the cabaret's opening, but there isn't time to celebrate because we learn that Priscilla has been attacked by a serial killer and she is in the hospital. And that leads directly into carnal scenes. You can probably tell what the plot of this quest is gonna be, and if you can't, you should probably get checked. Firstly, the doctor tells us that there were other victims that were killed in a similar way that Priscilla was attacked. So just to make it clear, she is still alive. The other guys that the killer got his hands on, not so much. So Geralt and Joachim the Chad, that's his name, go to Oropsy, the most recent victim of the killer, a dwarf named Fabian Meyer. And this autopsy, I mean, we learn so much from it. His genitals. We ought to inspect those. I sincerely doubt they bear any relation to the matter. But no, for real, we learn that the killer tortures his victims and that he has a ritualistic way of killing them. We also get interrupted by these two gentlemen, the coroner, Hubert Reck, and Nathaniel Pastodi, a priest of the eternal fire. And look, I don't wanna be judgmental, but you can see by his face he's an asshole. Then we go investigate the place where Priscilla was attacked, and we also get attacked by some locals that thought Geralt is the killer. From this woman we learn that Priscilla meant a lot to them, and that she also had a play in which she mocked the eternal fire. Keep that in mind, it's quite important. We then investigate Fabian's workshop, and from his brother, we learn that he liked to visit the ladies of the night, if you know what I mean, and seeing that we learn from the autopsy that he had syphilis, that checks out. Next up on the list is the corpse collector, and believe it or not, he collects corpses. And on Fabian, he found a letter that had Priscilla's name, so if he told anybody about this letter, maybe Priscilla wouldn't have gotten attacked. So, fuck you corpse collector. But we're just in time cause there's been another victim. So us and the coroner do another autopsy and find another letter with the next victim's name. Patricia Vagelbad. The Vagelbads are the family that organized the ball in which you go with Tris to help their son escape. And Patricia is the mother of Ingrid. So we get there and the old hag is dead and the guards mistake us for the killer. But we do find another letter with the next victim's name. Sweet Nettie. Now Sweet Nettie is a lady of the night and when we go to check on her, she isn't doing that well. She is tortured by Nathaniel Pastodi, the priest of the eternal fire we met earlier. And you might think, ha, huh, finally we got the killer. Well, if you can restrain yourself from not killing him the first time you get the chance and actually keep talking to him, you will find out that he is not the killer. And the only other person that knew he is gonna be here is Hubert the coroner. And he tried to set up Nathaniel. And by all means that doesn't mean he isn't an asshole, but there is a difference between having a few kings and ripping hearts out of people. So we go to confront Hubert and it turns out he's a vampire. And that he is religiously motivated. Now I've never seen a religiously motivated vampire before, so that's kinda cool. Across Novigrad you can also find these notes called Concerned Citizen Sermon written by Hubert in which he urges people to live in accordance with what the Church of the Eternal Fire dictates. Hubert is basically annoyed by the depravity of the world and has taken to himself to punish those who don't act like the Church dictates. So what did every victim do? Well, Fabian Meyer enjoyed going out whoring, which I guess isn't very religious. When we get to the Vagal body state, Patricia ordered everybody to burn books related to the eternal fire, and Priscilla had a play in which she mocked Hierarch Hemelfart, the head of the Church of the Eternal Fire. But now there is just one thing left to do, kill Hubert. Now fun fact, 
He says he is a higher vampire, but when he transforms, he doesn't look anything like Detla or Regis. Now this has been a long talking point, is he really a higher vampire? Well, probably, I mean why the fuck would he lie, but it doesn't really matter because this quest was made long before Blood and Wine, and CDPR probably didn't think about everything at that point, so yeah. Of course, Priscilla is eventually fine, she just lost her voice a bit. Honestly, this quest is amazing, I mean it has everything, so this is why I think it's one of the best in the game. And you can actually get the wrong killer because if you don't listen to Nathaniel till the end, you will never get to know about Hubert. But tell me which quest do you find the best, I'm really curious, but I will see you again soon, goodbye.